So Spider-Man 2 got an update, uh, literally like, I guess two days ago now, the time I'm recording this video. Um, I played it, uh, although it wasn't much of an update, like a big update, and it, it, it did make quite a few changes that I personally wanted in the game, with an addition to some uh, suits that we got. Um, yeah, and also, if I'm talking a little uh, lispy, it's because I got this toothache right here, and you know, I just, I, I, I want to get this content out for you guys, and feel like it's a testament to my my dedication so you know, stick with it because I, you know, I can still talk to you guys so here we go anyways this segment i wanted to really weigh in on not only like spider-man the spider-man update but in general the overall like this overall like hate train that's been coming towards but i don't know what's been the problem like with how people are perceiving spider-man 2 uh, particularly um, but it's gotten to bleed in over into the actual community to the point where they are targeting insomniac as developers as like trying to say in a way they are hmm how do you put how do you put losing their funk or it, I, I think that's what people are trying to allude to um i don't know spider-man 2 was critically uh well done and also casually people love the game um i feel like we got to remember that hardcore fans of the game really don't understand or hardcore hardcore fans hardcore fans of gaming in general really don't get that games are tailored to casual casual experiences and they always have we're getting on the developers for uh, intricate details that we're not adding in the game and little small stuff and back then in the day it was just like you got your disc you got the game and you got what was in the game like there was no patches and stuff so it's like we've gotten so entitled to the point where it's like we forget that it's really just made for the casual experience the casual audience generally loves i'm just let's just let me just show you guys since you know i mean sometimes it's okay to just kind of show people like what you're talking about okay here we go ratings i, I don't know i'm not sure so if we look at 127,000 ratings, all right, that's the first number I always look at for ratings. I always look at the number of how many people rated it, then I look at the overall. And I haven't even rated the game yet, right? Um, personally, I, I, I'll give my final rating now since we did the update on, I did the update and I did New Game Plus as well. Got the Platinum Trophy and I got the New Game Plus Trophy. But I honestly give this game four stars. It's not perfect, not in the slightest. Um, and that's still in the 80, 90 range, right? Um, 4.85 global player ratings. And this, again, this is a PlayStation game. So I, I think this is a little valid because PlayStation, you can only get it on PlayStation. PlayStation, if you really wanted to voice your hate or voice your disdain, you could rate the game, right? Um, so I think a lot of that stuff really let me get back into turn here i think a lot of the dis a lot of the discourse is forced i do i think a lot of it is forced but aside from all that i wanted to cover that little segment just my little topic to end that off though i wanted you guys to sound off sound off in the comments uh what do you guys think about spider-man 2's hate training i'm calling it um because i am calling it hate training at first i was calling it criticism i was everybody was being critical the story was a little lackluster. There were some bits and pieces here and there that we didn't really uh, get to enjoy. Venom to me was done well. It wasn't done perfect. Mm, Could have been could have done way better. But Venom to me that was done well, pretty well. Those were valid criticisms. It's it's really those like it's now becoming a, like a, oh like some people are actually crapping on the entire franchise now. It's actually crazy. So. Sound off in the comments. Let me go. No, no. Let me know what you guys think. Of course, criticisms that are constructive are welcome. If any, like any, just unreasonable hate is not. Anyways, aside from that, I did get new game plus, so I got all the trophies. That we'll show that here with you guys um, in a second. Um, yeah. So I did get new game plus. I got the uh, trophies and everything for it. Um, it wasn't hard. Spider Man Two, Spider Man games in general, not hard. All, all three Spider-Man games are the only three Spider-Man games I actually have platinum, <laughs> uh, which is funny. 
And so, yeah, the new game plus was not hard. You just complete the story. Um, I'm just ready for more DLC. I don't really understand why. I know why it's taking so long. Let me not say that. Because they did have that hack and stuff, which it plays a big part. Um, some people are still dealing with personal info being out. Um, some of these bills that y'all y'all are seeing, they're probably holding their information for ransom. So we don't know. I'm not gonna. I don't post any leaks like that. I, I do not do that. Um, I I think I did one time, and that was for the Great Web. Um, but that was for a done trailer that came from straight from Insomniac, I believe. Um, but it's all these bills and stuff, no, they, these leaks are crazy. So when it comes to that, I honestly I understand why it may be taking so long, but I also want them to prioritize just getting it done because maybe it won't get there faster but i feel like they're trying to still do little stuff like they, we got this update and they're still polishing little stuff and it's like okay so at this point if some of this stuff wasn't there just, just just put it on the back burner for now and then just get the dlc out let let it let us get the content out first and then just kind of put this stuff like i don't know they could come out with the update could come out with the dlc you know what i'm saying I just feel like we don't need these these bits of updates. Just me personally, I just feel like they could kind of just take their time. If it takes a long time, then fine. Just but just take your like take your make sure you're just just prioritize that. I just know I don't know just prioritize that. I'm not saying I want it now. Like, I'm not one of the people that will give it to me now. It's just one of those, like just one of those things like can we get some info? Like are you guys working on it? Is it? It's like what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like what's going on. So you know, let's let us know. I don't know. I'm not desperate or anything. I, I play the game all the time. I make clips on my Instagram. Oh, yes, can follow me there. Zani the greatest. Uh, it's actually in the description below. Um, but yeah, I post a lot of Spider-Man clips. I'm very uh, Spider-Man fanatic. Fanatic here. <laughs> I like Spider-Man. So, um, but yeah, I do want to see uh, more stuff so I can actually get more story to play more trophies to platinum all that good stuff and yada 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 now let's get on into the actual suits um whew, I, i'm gonna be honest with you guys um and when i go back into this game i'm gonna be completely honest because again i have it i had it loaded up for you i had it loaded up for you guys i was like uh i don't really come out of this game it's kind of one of the things that just sit there so just sits there and I do like these seg segments on the game room because um, I do want to start incorporating um, uh, this aspect where, you know, I'm actually showing us the gameplay uh, in, in raw time. In raw time. Because it's, it's basically what it says. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So, yeah. This this suit that he has on now. Um, yeah. It's a solid six out of six or seven. I, the reason why I'm saying it's seven is because I just don't like the pants. The top part is what I do like, even though the hoodie is kind of eh. Um, it, yeah, I like it though. I like the style that it went for, but it's just the pants. I'm not sure I'm liking. The sneakers are cool. Those are cool, but other than that, I mean, yeah, the jacket and, and the gloves, like the, obviously those, those are cool. But um, in this colorway, it's like, uh, let me see. Yeah, this it starts with this one right here. And then and then it goes over um, to this like red and black one, which I like this one, especially with the way the sneakers look. I don't, I don't like this one. They keep trying to incorporate the just the original Spider-Man colors on Miles Morales and just throw them on the suit. And I don't think it works. Like that color works. This one is pretty good. That one's good. I don't like that one. Then he has this suit. I don't know. I think this is some cultural thing. I mean, I did a stream on this. I crapped on it, but I think there's just some cultural thing with Brazil. So I had to do some research. Um, with the inspiration behind it, I can see it. It's just too much, too much color. I don't know. It's just too much clashing. If that makes sense. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I don't like it, but I I do get the inspiration behind it. So with that, it does come with colorways. This one's fine. See how it's actually one solid color, and it's like not. Like, like, this actually is pretty good. Like actually, it act. Oh, I didn't switch it. How, how, how dumb of me to not know that I'm in photo mode. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, just actually getting on into this part. I actually like this suit. I like this one, this version of it. Again, with just plastering this on here. This one looks better on this suit. Just doesn't need to be 
I actually like this, the gold and yellow, all like this stuff. Um, these are good. These are the Spider-Man Miles Morales ones that were in the uh, Miles Morales game. So legacy suits, uh, they call it. Don't like what's going on here, but these other three are pretty good. The animated one, this one's actually really good. It's actually fun to swing to and watch. Um, I'm a big fan of this one. This legacy suit, especially from the last one, they actually upgraded it. In my opinion, it looks way better than the last game. Uh, Peter Parker actually got some suits, so we're gonna check out his. Um, you know, they kind of butchered him on these ones. I don't, what is going on here? I don't understand. No, absolutely not. No colors. None of these work for me. I have none of them. I don't, these two are crap. And I'm sorry to the designers. I know nothing about fashion, I guess. Maybe. Um, but just on this, just on Peter and just on them. I'm sure these would look good on a person. But on them, no. I don't think that I would like swinging to them. This one is the last dance suit. Of course, this suit is going to be just, just it's going to be good. It's going to be good. You know, it's, a, it, it's a suit, a fan favorite. Um, so this one's pretty good. I like um, what they did with the colorway. This is the best suit to come out of this by far. Um, yeah, and so sometimes I what I love to do is just, uh, not this one. I like to do this one. It's pretty good. I like to match them up. So, yeah, that's that's that. Uh, uh, that is literally what has been going on with Spider-Man lately. I mean, not much goes on other than, like, these small little updates. So, I don't know. Again, let me know what you guys think about everything I, must, I was talking about. Let me know what you guys think of the update. And if you have any predictions on DLC and stuff like that. I appreciate you guys for tuning in to this segment of the game room. If you're watching this, I am still either I'm already out of town or I'm still out of town and I will see you guys when I get back. Uh, I got a boatload of content planned because we have tons of new games dropping this late 2024, man. Whew, my wallet is going to go crazy. Peace to get you guys for watching the game room. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.